Hey guys, Biomancer here, and we're back with another episode of Let's Play Dragon Quest IV. Now we are coming towards a close on Chapter 2. If you're headed for the Colosseum, just follow this corridor and take the stairs down. And we are, but we're going to take the side passage first and go down these stairs to get a treasure chest with the Seed of Life. Nice. This is the Colosseum where the Ender Tourney takes place. Huh, apparently you need a magic key to get in there. If you're ready for the Colosseum, just follow this corridor and take the stairs down. I wonder if you need a magic key on the other side there too. Alright. If you're taking part, go to the left. If you're just spectating, then go up the stairs to the right. Well, let's take a look at the right first. It's so exciting, I can hardly keep still. Sorrow the Manslayer is bound to win. Woo woo woo! Now this is entertainment! Yeah, go for it! I wouldn't be fighting like that. Nah, that ain't no good. You gotta fight like this! But you can't beat the odd drink or two when you're watching a fight. Go on, get stuck in! Er, oh dear, what am I saying? Forgive me, goddess. If only I was a year or two younger, I would have taken part myself. Ho ho! Even a woman of the cloth can partake in such indulgences. You're Sarevna Lena, aren't you? Good luck in the tournament. Shush! Go and talk to someone else. Sorry, I'm just getting a bit head up before the big fight. The fighting arena is just upstairs. Once you go up there, there's no turning back. Good luck. Hmm. Let's see. Are you actually able to save it at this one? No. Alrighty. And there's an N right here, which I'm not interested in at this time. Is there anything in here? Doesn't look like it. This is a shortcut to outside the castle. It can be quite handy if you're in a hurry. So basically, once you go up those stairs, you are automatically entered into the tournament. We're not ready yet, though. Hmm, I'm starting to find the Sorrow the Manslayer fellow a bit frightening. His strength is almost inhuman. Hmm, why am I still alive? Because I'm too weak to make it to the final hurdle, that's why. And over here is the guy selling our iron claw that we definitely want for Alina. However, we need more money and more experience. We need to be at least level 13 before we go into this. So yeah, we're we're gonna come back. Now you can find some good enemy for experience around here. And wow, speak of the devil, just the one I was thinking of. Metal Slime. If you can actually kill this guy, you're going to get some nice experience. However, they like to run. They have high defense, so you're likely to miss most of the time. But if you can hit him and kill him, ooh hoo hoo They've got about three hit points, so not too bad. Alright, we got a new enemy here, the Cyclone. These guys are actually pretty deadly. They can cast spells that attack everybody in your party. 
So you want to take them out pretty quick. And I will be going back to get that claw as soon as I have the money for it. Any money we get past what we need for that claw, we're going to use on casino tokens. Just for the record there. And I suppose since I really haven't got much else you know, set up for this and I want to get that tournament all in one video, I guess I'll just use the rest of this video for battles and maybe I'll kill a metal slime while I'm doing this. Alright, Borea reached level 10. Don't need too much gold to get those claws. Alright, we got another new enemy, the Restless Armor. And believe me, you want to take out the heal slimes before you do anything to him. And I might actually have to heal. The heal slimes are there to make your life miserable. Once the heal slimes are out of the picture, you can uh, leisurely beat on the restless armor. Nice amount of money from that battle. Basically just hang around indoor and fight the enemies around here. Like I said, you want to be at least level 13. Um, there's really only two things you can do at this point to increase your chances of winning the tournament. Well, three things. Uh, the first thing is to get the Iron Claw, which we are going to do. So, I mean, we just knocked that one out. The other two things I'm actually, I mean one of them I'm in the process of doing, but the other one I'm not going to do. Now one of them's obviously to grind out levels. I'm only going to go up to 13 though, because that's all you really need to beat it. And the other one is to spend some time in the casino, and there is a piece of armor called the Spangled Dress with a whopping 40 defense. That's more than double what the chainmail's providing, Alina. But I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I might. And of course, a good rule of thumb when gambling in the casino is make sure you save. There's a church in indoor for a reason. Save it before you gamble. If you win big, save it again. If you lose, restart. Simple saves coming. Now, it is a good idea to get some casino tokens because one of the best shields in the game is the only shield that I think two of the characters in the game can use. Might only be one, but yeah. It's worth it. I am going to lose Borea if I am not careful. And Elena. And there goes Borea. I think I am going to have to flee. Well, that's going to set me back a little bit. Darn resurrection costs. So if you have anybody die, if you don't know the Zing or Kazing spells, then you have to go to the church.
so, uh, yeah, this video is getting close to the end. I've taken up enough time on it. Um, yeah, I'm just going to cut until, until I'm at level 13 with Alina. Alright, Alina reached level 11. Alright, Kirill reached level 11. Now I have enough money for the claws, so I'm going to go ahead and get those, which will make these remaining two levels that I need to grind up go a whole lot smoother. Yeah, one thing I want to warn you guys about is that if you ever run into like three restless armors or three skeleton warriors, that's definitely something to uh, worry about. Especially the three skeleton warriors. That's kind of a deadly combination there. Alright, now that we've got our Iron Claw, we are set. We just need to get our levels in. So I will again cut until I get to level 13. Alright, Borea reached level 11. Learn Crackle. Nice, about time. Alright, Alina reached level 12. Alright, Kirill reached level 12. Alright, Borea reached level 12. Alright, Alina reached level 13. Alright, Carol reached level 13 and learned Fizzle. Alright, so once you've got all your equipment, got your levels, uh, you want to make sure you fill up every last spare inventory space in Alina's inventory with medical herbs. And it looks like I've got like five spaces, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill that up. And we'll stay at the end real quick. And we're going to use the rest of our money taking advantage of the awesomely cheap cost of casino tokens. Which I can get 363 tokens. And there'll be time for going over that stuff in the casino later. For now, I'm going to head back to the Coliseum. And, yeah, it's the end of this video. So, if you like my videos, subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Tell your friends about it. And I will see you guys later.